Hi guys, so I am back. I have no lipstick on. I put my face makeup on and as you can guess from clearly the title of this video, I'm going to try out the Cab Cosmetics Lip Kit. This is how it comes when it arrives in the mail. You get this little card as well. Cab Cosmetics with their little pictures on it and it says thank you for your order. We are so excited that Cab is finally here. We have put our hearts into this for so long and couldn't be happier to share this with all of you. We've had a blast creating our own personal lip kits that reflect our own personal styles. There's so much more to come and thank you for joining us on this incredible journey as believe receive and it has their names on the bottom. So anyway, I got the glazed lip kit. If you go on their website, it gives a description of the lipstick. So let me tell you the description of mine. Lip kit is gonna come with a lip liner. You can see on the back of it, it says glazed, lipstick, lip liner, sharpener, and a lip gloss. So they come with all four products. It opens up like this. The top says people will stare, make it worth their while. And then you get the products in here. Um, Obviously, this is kind of big and bulky packaging, I do have to say. So you clearly aren't gonna constantly be putting these back in here, but this is something you can reuse. If you take out this whole plastic chunk, you could use this to just put some of your favorite makeup products in and keep it on you know, your, your makeup stand or wherever you do your makeup. So you can kind of keep this. It's a nice hearty box. So anyway, I go on Cab Cosmetics. Let me tell you the description of the one I got. Now, my favorite type of lip is definitely a nude lip, more on the neutral side. I don't particularly like warm nudes. I'm more of like a beigey nude. So this lip kit, they cost $45. Now, by the time I paid for shipping and whatnot, mine came to $53.53, dollars $53 for the lip kit, $8.50 for shipping, which brought it to $53.50. So that is a little pricey, but when you think about it, if I were to go to Sephora and go to Urban Decay or something like that, their lipsticks are 20 something each, lip liners 20 something each. So you're already up to like $50. So you are getting four products in here. So when you actually break down the price point, it is actually a relatively decent price point for all four things. So anyway, this is considered, Glaze is a brown lip liner, gold iridescent nude lip gloss, a light beige toned matte lipstick, and the pencil sharpener. And it is considered a neutral lip kit and the scent is vanilla cupcake. All right, um, so yeah, let me break them out and let's see how they look, guys. There's a little top that comes on and off. So it says Cab Cosmetics, you can take it off. So it's got this sharpener for small and larger products. I'm not gonna use it today because obviously the sharpener has come, not the sharpener, the lip liner has come sharpened. Now the reason why I was also interested in her lip kits is I like that look where it's darker lip liner and then later on the inside of your lips because it does make your lips appear larger. That's my favorite type of lip look. My husband hates it because he thinks it's like looks noticeable. And um, I joke and I'm like, um, yeah, it's 90s Pam Anderson, hello. Like she was the most beautiful woman back then. And and um, I love that lip look and I still do it today. I'm sure I'll be doing it 20 years from now. So anyway, this is the lip liner. It's a pretty nice, decent size. It has the color on the end. It says Cab Cosmetics. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It also has the information on the side of it. Glaze, it's got all the information on it where it's distributed. She's cruelty free as well. This is what the lip liner looks like. I haven't used it yet, let's see. It's a nice sharp line. That's the lip liner, okay. It is pencil. It's not um, like ColourPop where it's like that plasticky kind. This is legit like pencil, wood, whatever you wanna call it. And on the bottom it says glaze. Now this is a matte. I think some of them were, um, 
satin or something like that, but this one is matte. Take the top off. She's got gray packaging with like rose gold cap. I really like the packaging of all of the products. I think they're really pretty. This is what it looks like. Now the scent is not as nice as I was expecting it to be. And the reason why is the plastic is has its own strong odor. I don't know if it's from this itself or if it's the plastic that these are packaged in because when you go to smell it, you get that vanilla scent, but you're also getting like this weird plasticky scent at the same time. So it's not as nice smelling as I thought, but let's go ahead and swatch this next to the lip liner. Definitely feels very creamy. That's the lipstick right there. And then, let's see the lip gloss. I like the packaging again. It's their gray with like the rose gold. And then you can see the color of your gloss through the packaging, which I really like. So this one is supposed to have very small dofa applicator. Super small, one of the smallest I've seen. I, let me get it on there. I don't really like her dofa applicator. That's some criticism that I think she should change. I'm not too fond of the applicator. So that is the lip gloss lipstick and the lip liner. This is with flash lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss. I also am not using any beauty lights. This is just natural light. I have windows in front of me. So, so far I like the lip liner because it's not, um, I'm not like applying it and it's going everywhere. It seems to be a nice formulation where it's kind of staying where I'm putting it. You know, like ones that are too creamy and then they, you can't make a really nice precise line, but this seems to be able to make a really nice line so far. I like to overdraw my top lips a little bit because I feel like my bigger lips are larger. is I take my finger and I kind of um, blend out the lines a little bit so they're not as harsh. If you wanted, you could probably color your lips in entirely with the lip liner, but that's typically not how I do my lips. Let's go in with the lipstick now and see how this looks. My lips are a little dry, so disregard that grossness. I think it actually matches up pretty well with the lip liner. In some of the photos they were showing, it made it seem like the lip liner was super, super dark compared to it, but it's actually not as dark as I thought. So that's just the lipstick. Let's add some of the gloss to the center. So that is what the glazed lip kit looks like. What do you guys think? It's pretty. I'm wondering if I go back in with the lip liner, if I can darken that up a little bit. What do you guys think?
The lip gloss feels nice over the lipstick. It doesn't feel super um, sticky. So you can see when I move my lips, there's no like stringiness or like stuff sticking. Anyway, what do you guys think? I actually, I thought the lip liner was gonna look a lot darker, but this is definitely a really pretty nude lip. Like I would, will probably wear this often. Honestly, I think I might use a darker lip liner with it though, just cause I like that look. But if you do like your lip liners to match pretty well, this overall is a really nice kit. It doesn't have an overly like disgusting taste. You can still taste it cause it's obviously lipstick, but yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Now, some of my comments I do have to say would be, I would prefer to have no sharpener and a mechanical lip liner. What did I say it was 50 something dollars total. I really think she should sell these individually because if you go back on their Instagram story and you watch some of the, um, swatches and whatnot some of those colors and lip glosses i was like ooh, i would i would want to pair that with that and kind of make my own combination so in the future i really hope they sell them separately because let's say i really really like this lip gloss but i barely went through the lipstick i don't want to spend 50 something dollars on the entire kit again so i'm hoping that's something they're gonna do make them individual not to mention if i wanted five kits do i really need five sharpeners not really um i do think the price point could for sure come down if they sold some kits without the sharpeners maybe. Maybe you could get a kit with a sharpener and definitely sell them individually because um, the sugar and spice kit, that one had a really light colored lip gloss in it, but I thought this one I would get more use out of. So I'm hoping they sell some stuff individually. If I like the formula, which so far I do, I could definitely see myself purchasing more so anyway comment down below guys let me know what you think of this lip color do you think it's pretty i literally think this lip color could go with any look so you know all right guys bye don't forget to subscribe